What's up everybody? My name's Cap, the Everyday Gamer, and this is a team deathmatch on Cracked. I'm running with my shotgun, and uh, this happened to be a pretty good match. I ended up going 20-1, and one, uh, actually one of my better shotgun rounds. But anyway, I'm not going to talk about the video. Um, as I would mentioned in my last video, I was going to answer some questions if you guys had any. Um, there was a couple of you that you posted in the comments, so I thought I would uh, read some of them. And I'll post the question and the uh, person's gamer tag or username, I guess I should say, that posted the question. And so you can all, you know, see who wrote it and blah, blah, blah as I'm going along here. First question is, what exactly is a G6? Because I want to be like a G6. <laughs> well, um, well, my research into the urban underground has led me to believe that G6 is short for G650. It's a twin-engine airplane that costs a shit ton of money. And apparently it's the new bling in the sky. It's what all the big players are running with today, or I should say flying with today. Um, so yeah, that's what it is. It's a twin engine jet. Um, all the big dogs are going to have one. It's just a status symbol thing. They just started publishing on this last year. So as far as I can tell, that is what a G6 is. And if you want to be one, go for it. The uh, second question is, what is my KDR? Um, in this game, um, I'll just go ahead and post what uh, all my major stats are so you have those. Um, as of right this very second, my KDR is a 1.63. Um, keep in mind, I primarily play just Team Deathmatch. It's rare for me to jump into other game modes. Um, my accuracy overall is 19.48, I think, as of tonight. And my win-loss ratio is 2.00. According to the combat record, my favorite uh, weapon is the infield. I have, like, oh, I don't even know how many thousand kills with that, but... It's not the gun I've been using the most time, but since it's one of the first guns you unlock, I use it until I unlock the AUG or some of the later level weapons. Um, the last question is, from Call of Duty 4 to Black Ops, what is my favorite and what would I do to make a perfect Call of Duty? That's kind of a hard question to answer and hopefully I can get it uh, discussed by the time the round ends here. Um, I don't have one specific favorite. Each one of them brought new elements to the genre that made it fun, and Frankensteining them would probably end up be the best solution for coming with my favorite. You know, COD 4, the first Modern Warfare, brought in um, kill streaks. You know, but it was the same three kill streaks. Everybody used the same ones. It was a lot of fun, and you know, it, nothing was overpowered as far as kill streaks go. And, so, and it brought in a whole new, you know, perk system and, you know, building your own custom classes and all that. So it really changed the genre. World at War, um, and no offense to Treyarch, I don't feel really changed a whole lot as far as the mechanics of the game. Um, I think by adding so they can do vehicle damage and by driving the tanks around and whatnot and... You know, they they added a few more kill streaks you could get. Everybody remembers the dogs, etc. Um, Modern Warfare 2 started off very promising. You know, having like 13 kill streaks to choose from, and you know, multiple prestiges you could go through uh, more so than others. Massive create a class and perk system, and then after that, all the glitchers and modders and cheaters and you know, D-bags that just ruined the game, basically, slowly took away from the nostalgia factor of the game by doing stupid stuff with it. And then, of course, Black Ops brought the new uh, monetary system, so you can buy your own guns, and under my understanding was originally that you'd have access to all guns, perks, equipment, all that stuff at the very beginning, and then you just have to buy it. But then it turns out to be just a, another leveling system, and you have to buy it, etc., so... Yeah, personally, I think the whole monetary system just kind of a, a moot point, I guess, at this juncture. Just because by the time you need to buy stuff, you have way more than enough money to buy it. <coughs> Pardon me. So if I had to choose my favorite, I'd probably say Black Ops, just because it's the most fun. Um, I personally can't stand marath or marathon lightweight runners. I don't like you know the slot of hand. Um, people that, you know, why, why reload, there's a lot of things I would totally remove. If I was doing one, um, I'd have a, a lot more kill streaks. probably the same number of ones they had in Modern Warfare 2, but they wouldn't stack. Um, there would be no melee with a knife, instant kill, and more or less you'd just probably smack somebody with the butt of your gun, maybe stun them, like if you hit them with a stun grenade. There'd be, um, no infinite marathon, no matter how much you know, whatever you did with it. There'd be no second chance or final stand or however you want to word it, none of that crap. And, uh, 
well, hell, if you got rid of all those from any of the games, that'd all be about the same, in my opinion. Um, I don't really, I'm not a big fan of quick scoping. I've just kind of lost its novel to me, so I don't really care if that's there or not. It doesn't bother me either way. So, if I had to choose my favorite, I'd say Black Ops. I'm having the most fun with that out of all the ones I've played so far. But who knows what'll come with the next patch, and uh, of course you know the new map pack comes out this next Tuesday, and I will be getting that. So anyway, um, that's the questions I have now. If you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section below, and I'll answer those as they come. I hope you liked this video. Um, please do leave a thumbs up if you liked it. Leave some comments and subscribe. And uh, I appreciate you guys' time, and I will talk to you later.